Okay, so English file, intermediate level, page 22, reading activity. I'm going to reading aloud, just you know, to help the students uh, how to read, how to correct their pronunciation and you know, uh, improve their fluency and um, in the end, in, improve their speaking skills as well. Right, so let's get started. Um, okay, the Polar Challenge. TV presenter Helen Skelton has never been afraid of a charity challenge. She has run the 78-mile ultramarathon in Namibia, and she has kayaked 3,200 kilometers down the Amazon from Norta in Peru to Almerium in Brazil for the charity Sport Relief, which helps poor and disadvantaged people. Now she has decided to leave the heat of Africa and South America to take part in a polar challenge, a 500-mile ski, kite ski and bike journey to the South Pole, the bottom of the world. During the challenge, Helen is writing a blog. Paragraph A. It's over a month since we arrived in Antarctica, and if everything goes to plan, we should reach the South Pole late tonight. We've been here for so long, it's almost become a routine. We camp, get up, ski, camp, get up, ski. I'm wearing a face mask because of the wind and sun. I may look like Darth Vader, but it will help me get there. Paragraph B. My first night in Antarctica. It's summer here, and the 24-hour daylight is weird. The plan, until 3rd January, is to train before starting our trek. Today was my first full day on cross-country skis, pulling a sledge full of my food, tent and supplies. It was a nightmare. Still, the scenery was incredible. I'm now going to try out the ice bike for the first time, and we are also going to practice kite skiing. Paragraph C. The first day of the trek is over. We managed to make the bikes work, but we need to do a minimum of 25 miles a day. And we only managed 15 miles today. After nine hours of cycling and a lot of pushing, we had to stop because I was completely exhausted. Paragraph D. We've only been in Antarctica for four days, but there's been a huge snowstorm for the past 48 hours. There's been. There's been here. There has been. So because there's a contraction, there's been a huge snowstorm for the past 48 hours. It's freezing outside, so we can't train. We've had to stay in the tent. The winds are 70 miles per hour with a temperature of minus 15 degrees Celsius and lots of snow. The visibility is terrible too. However, we're staying warm and morale is still good. However, we're staying warm and morale is still good. Paragraph E. This morning, the second day of our trek, we set off on the kite skis and straight away we were traveling fast. In the first hour, we'd gone eight miles. We'd gone. Yeah, we had gone. Past perfect. We had gone, in contracted form, we say, we'd gone eight miles. I thought we could do 60 miles today, but late this afternoon, the wind dropped, so we decided to stop and put up camp. But we traveled 41 miles. I'm very proud of that. I've only kited a few times before, but I'm trying to complete my challenge in 20 days, and there is still a long way to go. Paragraph F. We're now only 150 miles from our destination. We're now only 150 miles from our destination. For the last few days, we've only been using bikes and cross-country skis, not kite skis. We had a 10-hour day yesterday with the bikes. The morning went well, but then we had some soft snow and we ended up pushing the bikes for the last six miles. Today, we decided to use skis, but progress has been slow. In America, we say progress, progress, but in British accent, progress. 
Paragraph G. We've completed our 500-mile journey in 18 days. When I talked to Dad on the phone, saying we've done it, I cried. This is the biggest thing I've ever been part of. Paragraph H. We're on our way to the halfway checkpoint today, where we can have a rest. And I've been promised lots of hot water so I can have a good wash. My second one since arriving in Antarctica. Again, we're on our way to the halfway checkpoint today where we can have a rest. And I've been promised lots of hot water so I can have a good wash. My second one since arriving in Antarctica. I have to admit it, I smell awful and my hair is absolutely filthy. Paragraph I, the training is over and we are starting our 500 mile journey today. We've been cycling, walking, and kiting for 10 days. I washed and changed my clothes. I'm not going to get clean clothes again for three weeks. Okay, so that's it. We're finished reading it. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, you can leave in the comment section. Uh, please subscribe for my channel because more videos uh, are coming for your help. You know, if you've got any benefits, if you've taken any benefit from reading, please. Uh, click on like, please. Thank you. Um, see you in the next video, guys. Yes, take care. Bye-bye.